My name is Teresa Cervero. Um, I'm a PhD in telecommunication engineering and I'm working as a leading research engineer at Barcelona Supercomputing Center. We're basically um, more focused on designing and developing accelerators and infrastructure for future supercomputers. Right now I'm working just in one big European project. Basically what I'm doing is design and develop technology for future machines to solve problems like where uh, the universe was created. I'm working on, with a team of course, on designing and developing those devices to make that possible. When I was at the age of deciding what I wanted to do in the future, I wasn't sure what to decide. I had an engineering mind, so I said, hey, let's try telecommunication engineering. And at the moment I started to say, hey, I love this. For me, my best reference in my life is my mother. I've had a lot of discussions with her saying, hey, that's not gonna work. And she always said, no, 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 this is gonna work. She builds that reality. As a woman, I think there are challenges. Uh, keep the balance between personal and professional career. It's not easy. In my case, I'm, I'm a mother, so I have kids at home. So finding the way to balance your personal space uh, with your kids, then with your work, it's, it's not easy. It's true that sometimes um, we can, or I can feel alone, because there are some kind of things that you cannot share, or sometimes I feel that it, it's a fight, an internal fight most of the time, because I need to demonstrate others that I can do this. I have to say that I'm very lucky in, in Barcelona Supercomputing Center because we have um, some groups uh, trying to work on equity, diversity, people with different cultures, different mindsets, you know, to, to be sure that we are in a safe working space. I've seen a change, increasing the number of women in computer science, and I'm very happy for that. Every time I talk to one of those women, they never felt bad even if they have been surrounded by men all the time. What I would like is to not just talking about gender, talking about human beings. I think they are moving in a good direction, in a better direction. That's the change that we need to, to create in the society.